You click Apps, then ask ChatGPT for a word counting app. It codes it up. Then you can access and use this app right inside ChatGPT. The best part is that ChatGPT doesn't even have this feature. You see, for the past two years, I built a Chrome extension called Ultra that unlocks hidden abilities inside ChatGPT to help automate my work. Wait, what? How can you unlock ChatGPT features that aren't there with a Chrome extension? I mean, is this even legal? Let me show you. So here's ChatGPT without Ultra installed. I can inline edit the headline on this page to testing one, two, three. Ultra was built to work inside ChatGPT using this exact method. So when you see the apps feature writing code, it's using a chat right inside your ChatGPT account. This means we are unlocking capabilities that ChatGPT already has. They just never built a user interface for these things. Okay, that all sounds amazing, but what would I say are the top ultra features? Things that really change how you can use ChatGPT for work. The first and most powerful is multi-step prompting. You click on the multi-step icon. Let's add six steps. Step one will brainstorm 50 clause ideas for my partnership agreement. Step two, three, four, five, and six will generate the clauses themselves. Let's test it out. It immediately starts brainstorming 50 clause ideas. Then it goes on to generate the first 10 clauses, the next 10 clauses, and so on. When it's done, you can download all the answers in one unified text file. Multi-step prompting is incredibly powerful because a single prompt has a limited amount of so-called AI horsepower. This means that when you combine the power of multiple prompts, you can generate an entire project with one click. Next is forms. I click on it, create form. Let's call this realtor automation. Put in the property address, number of bedrooms, house features, and how big the house is in square feet. Step one will create the MLS description. We map all the variables from the form into this step. Step two will create an email blast, and step three will create a Facebook post. Let's test it out. We put in some dummy property data and press send. It immediately starts writing a custom MLS description. Then it generates an email blast, and finally a Facebook post. You can even export all the answers into one text file. This is incredibly powerful because most of the work we do doesn't fit into a chat box. With forms, you can create an interface that 100% aligns with your task. Then you can have your custom form automatically use multiple prompts to complete a large project with just one click. Now, you've already seen apps, but let me show you how I use this feature to replace some of my paid software tools. Let's click on apps, create app. Let's call this video feedback. I'm building an app similar to Frame, where you can send timestamped comments to your video editor. Because I need two seats, I pay $50 a month for this app. Here's a prompt I'm going to use. It asks ChatGPT to generate a split screen app where your video plays on the left and on the right, you can add notes that align with the exact timestamp you click on add comment. I paste in my prompt and instantly ChatGPT starts writing all the code for my app. As soon as it's done, I can use the app right inside ChatGPT. I throw in a video and start adding feedback to my editor. I can then press the export to TXT file button and send them all the feedback in one shot. I can access this app at any time by clicking apps and then video feedback. If I drag the same video, it remembers all my feedback and I can continue working on it. You can even build mobile apps with Ultra. I'm going to ask ChatGPT for a phone app to manage my Costco runs. I paste in my prompt and ChatGPT starts writing all the code for my mobile app. Once it's done, I can first test it on my computer and then just with one click, add it to my phone. Now I can quickly select the items I'm running low on. Because this app is 100% custom to me, it only has the items I usually buy. As soon as I press create list, the app creates a simple and organized grocery list for me. We also unlocked a ton of ChatGPT image generation features. The first is presets. You set up a style once and you can call on it anytime with just one click. ChatGPT will generate the image in exactly that style. Then there's draw mode. You sketch an idea right inside ChatGPT, then the AI generates an image based on your drawing. 
Next is transparency mode. You click on it and your image will have a transparent background. Then there's annotate where you can leave comments on top of images and get chat GPT to create exactly what you want. You can even annotate images that you upload yourself so that chat GPT can understand your task better. With Ultra, you can also tell ChatGPT what you do for a living. The AI will then start brainstorming with itself and coming up with prompt ideas. It will then go on and build a beautifully organized prompt library for every aspect of your job. You can click the prompts to populate them right into the chat. You're even able to manually save and organize your own prompts into this library. We also have bookmarking where you can save individual responses or even parts of a response and organize them into folders. Then there's also pin chats where you can pin any chat and instantly access it. And finally, a way to expand the input and go full screen for those longer prompts. But then most of your work happens outside ChatGPT, on the web, in spreadsheets, documents, and emails. This is why we've created a way for ChatGPT to break out of the chat window and be your assistant across the web. Now you can highlight any part of a website and have ChatGPT analyze it. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me a 10 point summary of this text. You also get an ultra button right inside Gmail. With one click, you can pull up ChatGPT and have it write you an email. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an email to Sam Altman asking to join their product team. You can now also analyze videos right inside YouTube with ChatGPT. I click the ultra button on this recipe video and ask ChatGPT to create an organized recipe for me. Then we integrated ChatGPT into Google Docs. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an essay on how AI will change work forever right inside the document. Then I'm going to highlight a paragraph and ask ChatGPT to make it twice as long. And finally, we connected ChatGPT with Google Sheets. Here's a sheet with a name and gift column for a baby shower. I'm going to have ChatGPT write a custom thank you note to each person that mentions the gift. I activate ChatGPT inside my Google Sheet with one click, paste in a formula, and add my prompt. Then stretch the cells down to the bottom so that ChatGPT can process all my rows with that same prompt. So how much is this upgrade going to cost? I mean, software that just unlocks ChatGPT and spreadsheets costs $19 a month. AI assistants go for $25 a month. These are literally just two of dozens and dozens of features we have with Ultra. So you're probably thinking we charge $50 a month or even $100 a month. The reality is actually exactly the opposite. My goal with this software is to make using AI for work accessible to as many people as possible. This is why for people watching this video today, we set up a special 50% off discount link. You can get Ultra for $67 a year instead of the much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash save 50 or by clicking the link in the description. I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the software and hearing about all the amazing things you guys are doing with it.